This is Damian McNamara with Global Medical News Network. Yesterday, the American Contact Dermatitis Society came out with an initiative they're thinking about doing with some very top allergens, like a listing of by, in groups of 10. For the practicing dermatologist who may not patch test routinely, but you know has an occasional patient they want to do a patch test in, sort of as a guidance on which allergens to look for. Just wanted to know your your opinion on coming out with this sort of this ranking. Well, first let me say uh, that that many studies have shown over time that the more allergens we test with, the better our results will be. Uh, so if you could test with 300 things, you'd probably find more allergy than if you tested with 100 and so on down the line. Now, you know, having said that, it's not practical to test with huge amounts of allergens, and in fact, the yield does drop off significantly. So maybe we could identify uh, 20 or 30 or 40 or 50 allergens that would be the most important ones and give us the best yield uh, for testing. Now, some of us who do a lot of patch testing might routinely test with 80 or 100 allergens, uh, but that may not be practical for all dermatologists. And so what the ACDS has done is create, they've looked at, they've looked at the data that show how common uh, allergies are to different chemicals, and they've basically ranked them. And they've also looked at data showing how, how common our exposures are. So if there's a chemical that causes a lot of allergy, but nobody ever uses it, it's not so important to, to test for. So they've put those two uh, uh, pieces of data together, and they've come up with these various core series in groups of 10. So uh, for instance, for, for if you use the top three series, let's say, your 30 most common allergens, perhaps that would find 75, 80% of all the people who have skin allergies. And then if you wanted to be a little more advanced, you'd get the next 10 and the next 10. And so, so I think what it does is it gives the dermatologist some guidance in, in saying, um, okay, these, these are the most common problematic allergens. If you want to test a lot of them, fine. If you just want to limit your testing, then start here with this group. This has been Damian McMurray, Global Medical News Network.